Hello, my name is Greg Warren. When I chose to join the Boise State Master of Educational Technology program, I was already an online school teacher, and I wanted to learn how to make my own classes better. One of the key elements for the AECT standards is demonstrating the ability to create instructional materials. I'd like to show you an online course that I created in EdTech 512 Online Teaching K-12. It was to teach sixth graders how to write and persuade their readers to agree with them. The course was created for online students and the course was divided into quarters with each quarter containing a nine-week course. Students are able to select their weekly assignments. This course demonstrates structure, design, navigation, use of multimedia, and it enables students to work at their own pace. Lessons included written instructions, videos, and examples. One of the tools for the students I was able to include was a Google document outline to act as a visual aid to help students with their writing. This course was just one of the many online courses which I created and used with my sixth grade students. I believe that this demonstrates my ability to create and use instructional material. To demonstrate my ability to analyze and assess educational material to be used as a resource, I selected a web quest which I created in EdTech 502 online course design. The web quest provides students with a higher order thinking activity that integrates online resources. The resources which are included demonstrate my ability to integrate appropriate technologies and instructional materials. Included in the web quest is a rubric which I created for students to be able to check their work and do a self-assessment. This project helped me to create instruction that is more interesting and meaningful to my students. Content knowledge also includes demonstrating management and ethics. In EdTech 502 online course design, I created an etiquette page which provides students with guidelines and shares with them expectations for online communications as well as gives them warnings about things which should not be shared such as personal information. Part of teaching students content knowledge is to teach them to have respectful communication, to understand copyright laws, not to plagiarize, and also to instruct them how to use technology safely. 